Hi, I'm Patrick Topman. I'm here in Edinburgh, Terminal V Festival. Honestly, I'm blown, blown away by it. It's really intense. It looks kind of a little bit like Time War in Germany. Um, like the size of it, the scale, like the production and stuff like that. I'm really impressed by it. And also, it's such a nice day here. So it's, it's, they've got a heat wave. So they've got outdoor stages as well. So when you put them all together, I'm actually really blown away by it. I mean, it feels like the first day of summer festivals to me. I don't change my set that much really, um, but I will be playing the bigger tunes here because the crowd's so massive. If I'm playing outdoor, I might cater it to the sun a little bit, go a little bit more housey. This is kind of like a warehouse type vibe, so I think I'm going to play more dark, more, te more techno stuff. But to be honest, I like to mix my sets up anyway, I never really stick to one sound. I like have a little folder, actually that's how I plan my gigs as well. I have a folder called End of Night Tunes. Like, that, how I do it is I have like warm-up tunes, end of night tunes, 2019 techno, 2019 like house. Then I have like gen generic ones, like kind of like ghetto house stuff, disco house stuff, vocal house stuff. Then I make playlists, especially for the gigs as well. Like I'll have a Terminal V playlist, which I think is what I'll do as much due diligence and I'll be like, hopefully this is what I'm gonna play. It never goes on like that. I might end up pulling some out of a gig, pull a uh, playlist from a gig last week or, or whatever, or some of the more generic playlists stuff, like the vocal house stuff and that, but that's how I try to catalogue the, because I've just got so many tunes. If you're, if you're not organised like that, you do With DJing, you tend to like, get a feel of what's going on and that. And if, if you're thinking something's going over someone's head, I won't try to push that sound too much, but then, I'm not like, that's the balance of DJing, isn't it? It's one thing is entertaining people and giving the crowd what they want. Then there's another thing of like, maybe he's pushing the boundaries a little bit like that, but then I'm not one of the DJs who, who just play to myself, but also I'm not one of the ones who just do anything to entertain, entertain anyone. I think it's kind of finding that sweet spot in between. I think that, for me, that's like the, the really essence of really good DJs. What keeps me still interested in DJing is, well, it's the music, like, I need to change my music all the time. Even the best tune in the world, if I play it ten times in a row, I'm going to be sick of it. Not sick of it totally, but sick of it in the context of DJing. It doesn't excite us like that anymore. So it's up to me. I need to keep myself on my toes as well, like, doing music like that. So it's the music, first and foremost, that keeps us excited. And then also just the amazing gigs. I'm so lucky to play some of the best places around the world. So how can you not get excited?